Well, that is the single most depressing thing that I have found out today. Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday. If this is your first time viewing, we're just a couple of vloggers each vlog once a week to kind of tell you what's going on in our world. So earlier today I did a little number comparison and I realized that we have less than 100 likes on Facebook for the Apple Ball guys. And then, you know, it's fine, it's whatever, it's a small thing. But the thing that bothered me was the fact that Westboro Baptist has more than two times the number of people that like them as opposed to us, and yet um, they're possibly evil incarnate. I don't understand why so many people like that group and so few like us. Apparently we're doing something wrong, so what is it? Tell us, because it's gotta be something. Let us know. Okay, so yesterday Chris was talking about the new P.O.D. album. If you haven't seen that, watch it here. Okay, welcome back. Now, usually Chris and I agree on most things, but I think this is one of the things that we're going to have to agree to disagree on. First off, they do claim to be a Christian group because, number one, they're sold in Christian bookstores. And if they're sold in Christian bookstores, it has to have a Christian base to it. It has to have some sort of Christian ethics to it. And it has to have some sort of sound theology to it. But in the Christian bookstore version, that song is completely removed from the CD just completely gone. But in the secular version, that song is on there with the word edited out. And if they were a secular group, fine, whatever, you know, more power to them kind of thing. But since they're a Christian group, they've got that higher level that they have to live up to. And yeah, I'm fully aware that the word is edited out, but that doesn't really mean anything because you know exactly what word is there. And it's quite obvious what that word is. It's not like they're covering up some other word. I mean, it's not like they're trying to hide anything either. The fact is, it's there. Well, the argument comes, this is coming from a secular perspective. This is coming from someone who's trying to find God. And so this is just one of their reactions to it. And to say that that doesn't happen is a fallacy. Of course that happens. That's, that's how a lot of people think probably. But in the same sense, you're not gonna have a pastor up on the pulpit preaching the exact same things that they're saying in their songs. We don't have passages in the Bible coming from a third person that's saying, you know, God, I don't freaking understand what in the world I'm supposed to be doing here. We've got Job and Lamentations and all these different types of examples of bad things that were happening in the Bible to where they could have declared the exact same thing, but they didn't. It's not in there. Was this one of those things where it didn't really fit with the times, but it does now? And so if the Bible was first scribed now, it would be in there? Possibly. Don't know. That's not my point. My point is it's in there, but they edited it out. But if they had to edit it out, then they should have realized, well, they shouldn't put it in there to begin with. If they have to edit their own thoughts, then what's the point of even putting it in there? And I know all of you that watch this are going to say, well, what about Jesus? He ate with the sinners. Nah, 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 nah. Understandable. Jesus ate with the sinners. Jesus can do whatever he wants for all I care. He's Jesus. But Jesus ate with a sinner. He didn't go and f*** a hooker. Hey, you don't have to censor me here. I said f*** a hooker. F*** f F-I-N-D. Find a hooker. Okay? Got it cleared up? Good. Jesus didn't have to go and find a hooker to sleep with her to understand what she was going through. He was around her all the time. But that doesn't mean that he's participating in the actions. And the fact is that perception means a lot to believers and to non-believers. Don't get me wrong and don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm not questioning POD's integrity or their salvation or anything like that. I just think that this was the wrong choice. I don't think that they should have put that word on this album. So there you have it. Two different sides of the story. Chris yesterday, me today, watch them both. Tell us what you think. Where do you come in on this? Okay, so a little bit of housekeeping here. Due to the fact that we only have like 89 or so likes on Facebook and yet Westboro Baptist is in the 200s, I don't like that. So I'm gonna propose this to you. I have never missed a vlog, never, not once, ever. But if we can get the Facebook page up to 130 likes, which is still far below Westboro Baptist, and I don't like that, but it's still progress. But if we can get up to that number by Tuesday at midnight, which is between Monday and Tuesday, not Tuesday and Wednesday, then I will forego my vlog and I will take the punishment. I have made sure to get my vlog in every single time. But for this, I will miss it. Well, that's it for this week. I'll catch you guys next week. Let us know in the comments what you think on the whole situation. Should POD have used that word in the song? 